Hi guys, welcome back to another Scientific Weekly. Today is a little bit different because first of all I'm not at home at my room to do the recording as usual. Two, I'm late, at least seven hours late to my current schedule. To my own schedule this video should be up by now seven hours ago. And here I am still recording it. And three, I'm recording this from my laptop, which I won't do a lot of times. I will try to stick to my computer as usually, but sometimes this is needed. So alright, let's continue to Dark Code Self. The source is nature.com and the article is about the correction of a pathogenic gene mutation in human embryos. And by the way, if you see me looking to the side, don't think I'm crazy or something, but my girlfriend is sitting next to me keeping an eye over me to ensure I'm doing this. Otherwise I'm sleeping outside under the trampoline. But alright, uh, so this research is very controversial but groundbreaking and good if you ask me. Let me know, let you, let me talk first and you can read it yourself because the link will be down below in the description as always and if you read it or saw the whole video let me know down below what you think of it give me your opinions your thoughts everything so they managed to actually correct a flaw in human dna well a flaw is not the right word more a negative mutation and in this case that mutation would mean a heart disease so it comes down to this basically they had two parent cells load up the image please thank you they had two that's the wrong image but anyway they had two parent parent cells an egg cell a sperm cell both with the genet with the defect in it they got together to make the embryotic cells for a human being and with the use of CRISPR-Cas9 they actually managed to correct that flaw they did not add in new type of DNA they just inserted a little piece of information to correct it and it was all that happened it got corrected throughout all the cells if it would grow out to a whole new human being, the human being wouldn't have the heart disease. And it did not do anything else, according to the research. So this means the test was good, because it was effective, it was on spot, and it did not do anything, any mutation that weren't meant to be done. So all it did was correct the defect in the DNA. Which is great if you ask me, but on the other hand, this is controversial research because we are still working with human DNA and human life and there are more than enough people out there that are against it because we play with human life, we play for God in their eyes and that's not something we should do. So they sometimes prefer to see an unwanted kid in a family that doesn't want a kid against on the upside end of a what was that again uh, the kid the kid being removed in the embryo stage they are against it because it's not the idea of god but on the other hand if there is a god maybe this the science the the, the science the research is his way of giving us the possibility to improve ourselves to improve the flaws of nature to save ourselves and stuff like that but I don't know how you guys look up to it or against it let me know what you think of it uh, down below in the comments of course I'm open for the discussion I will react to your comments I will maybe go over them in a different video if it's worth to do it and yes so let me know what you think of it read the article yourself the whole article is open to read for free 
which is always a nice, nice thing because it doesn't always happen these days. Actually, it even gets more rare to encounter an article that's completely open source to and uh, to read. So th the link will be down below in the description. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. Subscribe if you didn't do that and leave a comment down below what you think of this research, what you think of the whole concept and what you think of the possibilities now with it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys next time again.